Alright, I am once again going on another 24 plus hour fast. So it is about 2 a.m. and I've been fasting 20, 22 hours now. And later today, I hope to look at an apartment in Missoula, Montana. I gotta consider if I wanna stay here in Wallace, Idaho or go back to uh, Missoula where I spent some time last summer. Uh, Missoula is more like a summertime destination for me, so I thought about staying at the apartment across the street for the next uh, one or two months, see how COVID plays out, right? And if I don't have to go back to Seattle, then take a look at that place in Missoula. But then I realized how hard it was to get anybody to respond to an ad in uh, Missoula. Um, I guess a lot of these are students who are renting out an extra room and uh, or a lot of these are um, maybe parents who have kids that are going to school and then renting out that extra bedroom i think there's a lot of that and obviously they're dealing with remote learning and all the restrictions and obviously um, we got people who are quite a few years younger than me who might be a little bit more shaken by all the new social restrictions right uh, even I was pretty shaken by that. I, I'm, I'm not trying to boast here. And so it's very hard to get anybody to respond to a couple Craigslist ads, right? And so I, uh, I'll have to think hard about whether I want to put my foot in the door over there, especially, especially uh, if uh, uh, something opens that I like and uh, hopefully we'll continue to work remote. I, I do hope COVID goes away, but I, I like working remotely. Don't get me wrong on that. Okay, so I've been fasting because I know that when I'm in a 24 to 38, uh, 36 hour fast, I tend to, to reduce my social anxiety quite a bit. And one of the reasons, Wallace, I gotta confess, I know I'm gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings, but Wallace, Idaho wasn't quite for me yet, is because I do wanna get over my uh, social anxiety problems. Here in Wallace, I feel like I'm just hiding out from all the, my problems, right? So every Wednesday night, I like to go to a Thunder Extreme Bowling event, right? But it's in Coeur d'Alene, it's a 45 minute drive away, and uh, eh, I can live with that. So I, I spend an hour and a half on the road once a week, or sometimes twice a week, I can live with that. Uh, but at the same time, I'm kind of not building my social life, right? Because I'm meeting people who are 45 minutes away. Uh, so, uh, not to mention when work, working from home actually goes away, right? Goes out of fashion, I have to go back to Seattle. In Missoula, when COVID dies down, maybe I can look for a job there and I can keep my social connections, right? I'm more of a, I'm still more of a city guy. I love coming out to the country for vacation, but I'm still a city guy, let's put it that way. I talked about this in another video. It's very difficult to have a place to call home and vacation at the same time, right? Um, Wallace, it can be your home or it can be your vacation. It's kind of tough to have it straddle both, right? I've never successfully done that. Last year, Wallace was my vacation destination. This year, it's my home. It's never kind of been both, <laughs> let's put it that way. Anyways, the problem is that, so I fast to help with social anxiety. Now the problem is that for looking at an apartment, it might not be so bad, right? Yes, the, 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 the potential roommate, they might offer me food. I don't think that's too hard to turn away. Uh, the problem is workplace situations, right? Um, any, um, I, I teach at a university, new student orientations, graduation events, holiday parties. Oh my God, there's always a lot of pressure to, uh, to eat there, right? Um, and for some reason, if you don't eat, you don't belong, right? Uh, it used to be that way with alcohol. I think people have accepted that some people just cannot have a drink or two. Uh, but for some people, the, the, uh, food can, can, can really interfere with their uh, uh, social anxiety. Or uh, for, so, for quite a few other people, it could also be poison to them, right? And so, um, I, I wish people would recognize that just because you can eat food and not be affected by it 
doesn't mean other people feel that way and uh, to, to be inclusive about that. We, you know, we, we talk about all sorts of diversity at the campus. Uh, not that I go one way or the other, but we talk about it, right? Whether it be, uh, well, last year, the big one was race. And then a couple of years before that, it was gender identity. And, um, but we never talk about two, two forms of um, diversity I never see is um, singles and people for what they eat. Right. I wish there was more talk on those two forms of diversity, um, especially uh, for what people for what they eat. Right. Because if you think about it, that's really just an, an extension of disability diversity. Right. Um, some people or religious diversity even. Right. It, 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 it kind of branches off of those two. Right. And for some reason, if you discriminate against religion or disability via you're pressuring somebody to eat, for some reason, that's acceptable. Right. But if you discriminate against religion for what people wear, or even, even for whether or not they want to put on a mask during the pandemic, right? Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, it, it's very upsetting to some people, right? Uh, because of religious purposes, right? But for some reason, when it comes to pushing food, A-okay, right? I can never understand that, right? Um, so hopefully I won't run into a food pusher at the, uh, apartment viewing today see that's a that's a dilemma right either i have to uh, turn away food or i eat it and it causes me to 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 mess up with my uh social anxiety i really feel put between a rock and a hard place every time it comes up right especially at the workplace maybe not so much at an apartment viewing anyways um yeah think of think hard before you push food on somebody uh it, it might be what's keeping them sane at the moment right Thanks for watching.